And we're back at Folk Friday. I'm Eli Lev, your host. We are being brought to you by Blue House Productions here in Silver Spring, Maryland. And this week we have the incredible, the amazing, the wonderful Karen. Right? <laughs> I just did jazz hands. <laughs> jazz, <laughs> jazz hands is good. <laughs> That's a great intro. Um, so Karen's here. She's going to sing an original song of hers and also a cover. Um, let us know about the original song you're going to sing first. Yeah, so the original song, it's called Shadow of Hope, mm. and it was inspired by Joan Baez. I was actually reading an article about her uh, in a magazine, and she's like my like spirit guide anyways as a uh, musician. Yeah. Her and Johnny Cash, which both the songs we sing anyways are, are influenced by them. But uh, she was talking about, you know, obviously a lot of her songs that she's written are very, you know, activist vibes. Mm -hmm. um, weaved through them and so and even to this day as she sings and writes and so she had a quote that was somewhere along the lines of you know even like the tiniest bit we hold on to that shadow of hope mm -hmm. you know with everything going on in the world and if we look at everything going on in the world so like mm -hmm. with politics with everything with just you know there's always a lot of chaos and there's a lot of things going on and so what keeps us sane I feel like is holding on to that like sliver that of faith of walking into the darkness and thinking there's always going to be that sliver mm. of light. Um, and that's what really inspired it. And I actually finished the song when I was on a trip out to the Harper's Ferry area, which is where I now live. Okay. So it was very much a like soul journey trip, I feel like. Wow. Like something intuitively was like, you know, get out to that area. Um, and so that's kind of a cool little side note to that. But yeah, so definitely it's, inspired it's a place. by Joan. It's a time, it's a singer, it's an idea. Yeah. It's an incredible song. It's called Shadow <laughs> of Hope. I'm going to play on guitar for you if that's yeah. cool. Yeah, beautiful. And, um, yeah, and here Thank it is, you. Shadow of Hope by Karen. Let me sing you a song of the times one that changes your state of mind soon you'll come to find we've got just this life we've got just this life there are things that we learn as we go how we walk
to the shadow of hope in the shadow of hope we march along Wow, that was a really intense, emotional, but like needed song, I feel like, right now, Shadow of Hope. Tell me a little bit, so you, so you told me a little bit about like where it came from. How does it feel performing that song in front of people and, and kind of yeah. bearing your, you know, your thoughts and your soul? It's amazing because I haven't really sang it out a whole, a whole lot yet, and so it's just I've been doing it more, and I feel like, like I see people's reactions when they hear the words, and I think the best compliment someone can ever give me is like your song made me think yeah and I'm like oh somebody listened to the words yeah. you know but I specifically draw out a lot of the vocals too so that people are listening to the words and so it's it's cathartic for me I mean every time I write and sing and do all that it's like therapy for me I mean this yeah. really isn't a totally personal song but it it feels like collectively personal because of what's going on in the world. It feels like you're singing like for everybody to yeah. everybody at that same moment. So that's incredible. Yeah. Tell me about, so you just started doing music a lot more than you used to be doing <laughs> music, which was not that much, but like I've just been working with you, helping you write some songs and, and I'm just like just seeing you explode <laughs> and blossom on the scene. So tell me about yeah, that process you. and where you're at now and where you're, where you're about to be. Yeah, so, you know, it's funny. I think Sometimes in life, all the time in life, we're the ones that are holding ourselves back, hmm. you know? And I think I waited a long time for someone to give me the green light before yeah. I just decided to give the green light to myself and say, it's amazing. you know, I mean, I remember having a conversation with you. I was like, I think I might dive into this music thing. Like I was like dipping my toe in the water yeah. and then I just like fully jumped <laughs> right. like off the high dive <laughs> into the water. And it's, yeah, so it's been a, really a couple months. And I've been really getting tapped into the scene. And I think I'm always just a sponge. So it's, it's not even just the music. It's like being out, you know, I call, kind of call my music like bars and bonfires, you know. Yeah. Like I want to just be able to like sing it around the campfire with friends. You know, that fuels my soul. But also getting out and having more people hear the music. That's what I've seen from you. You just have this way of just being like, I do music, so do you. Let's do this amazing <laughs> thing. and Let's create yeah. together. And it's really, people are really responding to that. Yeah. I think that's really, really cool. Thank you. Um, what's one of the coolest things that's been happening to you now that you're incorporating music in your life, in your oh everyday? Like, It's healing, hmm. man. It's, it's medicine yeah. for me, and I see that it's medicine for other people. And I'll tell you what, whenever the most resistance is coming up, towards something where somebody's, you know, like something in my mind, like that voice is like, oh, you don't need to drive here, or do that, or this is too complicated. You know, mm -hmm. I'm learning an instrument. I don't know one that well yet. So like finding, okay, I got to find a guitarist for this show yeah. and then like attract the band and do this. And so, but whenever that's, it's like once I get over that hump and I just do it and give myself that little ounce of courage, yeah. it's like, amazing and I think I mean you know it's like what you're putting out you attract to you mm -hmm. and so it's like if I'm sharing my soul you share your soul you know before I got it like really into music and tapped into the scene it wasn't like I would have conversations with people about like the muse you know what right. I mean <laughs> right. you know and it's like normal Let's to talk about the muse it's like today. normal to meet someone for the first time and have them yeah like the way I channel my music and you know yeah. so it's like I didn't have awesome. that similar language with people before, you know, and you can certainly relate to other artistry mm -hmm. and creative things in life. Everybody has an ounce of that, you know, everybody's creative. But for me, it's just been like I thrive off of the connection of yeah. other musicians, not just the music itself. Right. Because right. if I just sing to myself all the time, right. you know, like. <laughs> that energy of like exchange of, you know, your ideas and your feelings and bringing that with other people and like just making making art it's, it's incredible I'm just I'm so excited for you um, we've got 
You said you wanted to do this one um, cover tune, right? Tell me about this. What are we, what are we hearing yes. next? Yes. So Wayfaring Stranger is probably my favorite song to sing. Okay. I love the Johnny Cash version. And when I first started singing a couple years ago, so this was like 2017, and I say that because I just wasn't, like people in my life didn't know that I could sing, and I barely okay. knew that I could sing. Hmm. This is the song that I somehow got attached to because I'm obsessed with Johnny Cash like Joan Baez and Johnny Cash and like could just combine. I feel like that's what inspires me. Cool. But um, yeah, so this is a cool tune and it feels, um, it feels old time and it just feels kind of sad and mm. like, real no Like, yeah, real. like, like some not real, pretentious, like yeah. life gets hard and yeah. it's okay to sing about it. So right. that's what I like about awesome. this song. Well, I love the song too. It's called Wayfaring Stranger and Karen is going to sing it for us. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this world below. There is no sickness, no toil, no danger in that bright land. Wayfaring Stranger, the Johnny Cash version slash Karen version. I think I like the Karen version better. But, um, it's my soul. <laughs> yeah, that was a really, really cool tune. Um, thanks so much for coming on Folk Friday, Karen. You're so welcome. And, thanks um, for playing and singing yeah. and being a good friend. Thank you. Yeah, look out for um, a lot of great things coming from her. Um, I know she's got a project coming up and some more shows all the time. So I'll leave a link to um, Karen's music um, in the description in the video. If you like the video and you like what you saw and what you heard, uh, click the subscribe button um, for more Folk Friday videos. And there's an alarm bell that if you click that, then you'll be notified when videos come out every Friday. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Eli. And have a wonderful weekend, y'all. Thanks so much.